hi thank you so much for clicking ccms so in this video we are going to uh, create users uh, you know on on prem ad and uh, azure ad as well here you can see we have a list of uh, multiple users in this uh, like users over you and uh, users are basically basically a object that is created into the active directory domain services or any ed and these uh, these users basically uh, could be any human users or the any programs uh, such as uh, system services that is used to log on on a computers and when any user try to log in onto the system or it's logs in the system verifies the user's password by comparing it with the data stored in the user's object uh, in the active directory so and if uh, you can see it, these are the users and all the properties like user details account and other things are stored here and when it's a compare and it's match uh, matches with the stored credentials then uh, active directory issues a token access token basically and that access token is an object uh, that describes the security context of a process or the threat like how that will uh, going to uh, authorize users to log into the system and take any kind of actions it will basically authenticate and then uh, based on that uh, role it will auth authorize and these tokens also include the security identities and the group membership like what kind of uh, group a user have and it's as associated with it uh, and ev every process execute uh, on a behalf of this use has the copy of this access token so we are we are not going to explain more uh, like we'll cover on our next video like what uh, these access tokens are and you you user account is basically it could be like a, enable it uh, used to enable humans human users to log on to the computer and uh, to access resources based on the user account identity and it also enables programs to, and services to run under a specific uh, uh, security context and it also manage user uh, access to shared resources such as object and the uh, properties uh, network share file directory printers queue and and so on so basically in this video we are going to uh, create so just, just to you have to firstly open uh, the active directory user services uh, click on a start menu and you can type those or just type dsa.msc for quick access and then click uh, then it this window will come up for you and you have to navigate to the like OUs where you want to create uh, so we have we are in we are already there on a user say OU. so you uh, just have to right click and then uh, select new then you have to select user and if you are about to create groups then you can select group but here we are going to create a user only so we'll select user and we'll specify the name like a test uh, ad or any account we can mention and uh, on our last name we can mention test account password we have uh, like this will be user login name this will be like same account name uh, we can use uh, like i can uh, mention any kind of uh, uh, keyword uh, that could uh, be unique for this user so i can use any like uh, b b9182 and k that will also work and then we have to click next then uh, specify the password uh, that will uh, be uh, we select this user must change password at next login uh, means this will be used as a, as a temporary password and when user logged into this system on our next login user have to has to be uh, change their password it will ask for them uh, similar way when we try to log in then it will ask us to specify the new password then that can be used and we can also set uh, different parameters from here like user cannot change password like th this we select when we create a service account that we just discussed like where service account uh, basically the account that is used by the applications uh, it is also the kind of a uh, user account is and we can also uh, specify like passwords should never be expired. Generally, in AD, uh, we set 60 days or 90 days uh, for the uh, password, password to expire so they can renew. And for the service accounts, we set it as never account. So we have to select uh, never expire when we are going to create any service account. And we can also uh, select this account is disabled or not. Uh, then we have to click next. Uh, yeah, then we'll, it will show us all the things and uh, it will, I'll, I'll click next. Okay. Let me specify the password here. So, 
so once we click next it will uh so as the like what will be the name and the user account whatever details we have mentioned it will show you then we click finish then account will be here as well so let's click finish so account is here we have a test account user and to delete this account we just have to like uh, we can also search it from here or just uh, click on a right click on our directory and then select uh, search find uh, basically find and then we can uh, specify the name or uh, same account name i am going to use uh, a name to search the account it will search into the entire directory so you can search and verify that this is the account that we have created so and if you, if you need to set more properties you can do that from here as well like what will be the description of that account email and uh, manager here you can change and set uh, and uh, what kind of membership uh, your membership also we can assist swipe group membership kind and if you need to set uh, some other properties uh, we can do that from going to directly going to the attribute editor as well so to delete this account we can uh, we can search for any account and just select it will uh, ask for the confirmation when we click yes it will delete that account but i'm not going to do that because i'll going to show you uh, that um, attribute editor so to view editor, you to you have to go to the exactly where you where account is resides so just double click it uh, property window will open then you will go to the attribute editor and from here you can uh, set the properties uh, that you want like uh, what will be the same account and proxy and other kind of stuff that can be also set from here as well and to delete this account we simply just uh, right click and uh, select delete and we can disable uh, disable means it will temporarily uh, disable that account so it will not be used for logon services and we can reset password as well and other things so to delete this just uh, click on delete and then uh, uh, click on yes but i'll i'll I'm, I'm not going to delete this account from here because we are going to delete uh, using the power cell so let me just copy the same account then so to read any uh, properties like we can do that from the active Directory to users computers as well and the same thing can be done by using the power cell as well so to read then it any uh, we have a command in ad uh, like get ad users when you type any command just hit tab it will take out all the things then you can specify the identity yeah identity parameter then we can enter the here same account name i already mentioned this then we can enter then it will list out the account details like uh, what will uh, the surname uh, same account name given name and other uh, settings as well so to uh, set any kind of properties of this user we can do that uh, we, we we just have to uh, type set ad user and then we uh, in our identity we have to specify the user and then we can uh, set proper whatever properties you would like to do so if you uh, would like to set a manager you can specify manager here and then you have to enter the uh, other uh, manager same account name or the uh, email address that you want to do yeah here you can see that property is set let's verify the same thing we can uh, do the same thing get ad user identity and then uh, type properties and if you wanted to list out all the properties just uh, type asterisk and hit enter it will list out all the things and to very verify the property that we have just set just uh, scroll a bit ever and look for the manager you can see manager property is set here and we can also filter filter out uh, like whatever properties you need specifically specifically uh, you can uh, type the same thing or just press uh, upper arrow key it will list out the previous command so it here then select a pipe and fl we can use the like format list and uh, just type the manager manager and hit enter it will uh, list out the manager name and um, and if you are not sure like what with the properties and uh, you would like to uh, specify any kind of word or keywords like i'll i'll gonna search for like uh, uh, time uh, let's go for date because you will have like ex expiration date and other dates as well so you can type date uh, and we can also include asterisk so whatever keyword matches with the date 
it will list it out here. So here you can see account expiration date and last login date and other. So let's do the same thing for manager as well. Uh, we can use a manager. Uh, the first three letters would be same. Uh, we can we can keep the same or if you wanted to change or add on, you can do that as well. So here it will start the same. And to delete this account or to disable, just uh, type disable disable hyphen ad account and then specify the account name we have. So we have same account like B928. I'll uh, use the same. B981 A2K and hit enter. It's disabled. Let's uh, verify it on a uh, user account and just uh, refresh here so it will uh, fetch the latest one. You can see, you know, here look for the search for test. So here you can see the uh, green highlighting here because this one is disabled account. So to delete this account, uh, we just have to type remove AD. Uh, remove AD account. Sorry, it would be like uh, remove AD user. So remove AD user and we already have the same account. So just hit enter. It will ask for the like confirmation. Do you would like to remove or what? Uh, so you you can click yes or either to uh, suppress that uh, pop up. We can type confirm and then we can uh, remove AD AD users, then uh, test AD one and confirm uh, that we can include. Uh, we have to include the call same way. Like when we are going to create any user, then you have to type new add a user and what will be the name of the user name like test study i'll specify test study then you have to specify same account name test study uh, one yeah we can specify or we can also use the same like if our uh, account allowed then where you wanted to uh, create that account so you have to specify the path so the path should be like distinguished name. Distinguished name is basically the uh, container OU name, like where we are going to create. To view that, uh, uh, make, make sure you have selected advanced features on in your Active Directory users. So right click and select properties. Go to attribute editor. And here you will find uh, like distinguished name. So double click and just select that cop. Uh, it is already selected so just press ctrl c or copy it then specify here the path that should be in a double quotes and you can also specify manager here i will i'll going to include uh, my account so it will not and then description whatsoever you would like to like i'll add a test study account make sure it is in the double quotes and yes we can just hit enter the new account okay it says the account is already exist with that name uh, because we haven't removed that so let's remove it from here only let me remove it first right click and then if you would like to enable you can do that or uh, to delete just select delete yeah this one is deleted and uh, uh, then we can create with us. Uh, we can now we can create the account with the same name. So just hit enter. Yeah, it is not removed yet. So uh, let's try again. Okay. So let's clear the window and same. Now we can change the name on here. Like we have uh, name would be the test ID uh, one, and uh, let's keep the same uh, same account name as well. Yeah and then hit enter yeah account is created let's verify if this is created or not so just copy the name that we just specify and get any any user and the account name and we can hit enter yeah here you can say account is disabled by default because we haven't specified like what 
that uh, it should be enabled or not. So make sure you enable. Uh, you also add on the parameter like uh, hyphen enable. That should be true. So, so to remove this account, we can uh, type the same command to create the accounts on the Azure AD end. Make sure you logged into the Azure portal. Then uh, go to the Active Directory. I'll just hit here Active Directory and then uh, select Users for Users. Or you can also uh, yeah, just click Users and then it will list out all the existing users that we have in like Azure AD tenant. And then click New User. It will ask for what kind of users you are going to create like uh, any you you just cloud users or you are going to invite any users i'll select a new uh, new user only and it will come up with a template uh, that we use to create uh, and we can uh, uh, switch to invite users as well and and then that will use for the caller collaboration with your organizations and if the user will get an email like a similar way we can use out the uh, gmail account to use uh, invite any users here so to create these users we have to specify the name uh, username that should be unique and it's mandatory because it is a uh, mark asterisk red so username name and if you wanted to add any users into the group you can do that from here as well and uh, similar way uh, we can assign the roles that will be going to use to, for the managing the uh, roles and other stuff like uh, block sign in uh, or block and you can specify the location like um, we can uh, re restrict any user's location so it will not uh, going to use uh, uh, allow logon from other locations we can specify india germany america any kind of locations we specify and then other things the job title description and the manager details and so on and in a similar way we can invite uh, any external users so just click on in in invite users and in a same way, like email address is the mandatory part that we have to must include here while inviting any external users. And uh, we can in, enter enter name, uh, name, first name, last name, and other stuff here. You can also include the personal message uh, for your external users so they will get in, in their email. So then similar way, we can add uh, any groups and roles and uh, restrict the usage location um, we can block the signings uh, and other details uh, but we will we'll not going to manage the password for this account on your on our uh, azure ad end it will uh, it will be authenticated and uh, other things will be managed by the end users as well so this is it thank you